Well, the summer of 2009 is fast approaching, and all the summer movies are almost upon us. So, here we go again. Here's my top 10 picks for the 2009 summer movies. Number 10, Night at the Museum 2. Well, Ben Stiller is back as a security guard, and looking over all the things that go bump in the night at the museum. Now, I really enjoyed the first movie, and I think there's room for a sequel if they pull it off correctly. This time around, we get more effects, bigger characters, and familiar faces that join the cast this time around. So I think this one will be a pretty good movie. Number 9, Angels and Demons. In the spirit of movies like National Treasure, The Da Vinci Code, and the comic book stories of Don Rosa, comes another tale of hidden symbols, mystery solving, and tons of action. Now, I haven't read the book that this movie was adapted from, so I can't really tell you much about the plot. But since it was written by the same guy who brought us the Da Vinci Code, this one will probably be another thrill ride. Number 8, Watchmen. Now, this one is only a few weeks away from being released, and it looks incredible. Now, me being a comic book reader from an early age, I've always heard about this Watchmen series. But even though I've never read a single Watchmen comic, I can tell you, however, that this was one of the most talked about comic book stories ever made. So this one should be well worth the price of admission. I mean, have you seen the movie trailer yet? Looks freaking awesome from the first scene. Number 7, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Here we go again, another Michael Bay Transformers movie. Now I had two problems with the last movie that I hope they correct for this installment. First off, I couldn't tell most of the robots apart since they all looked the same. And secondly, all the fight sequences were zoomed in so much, I had no idea what the hell was even going on. But here we have a sequel, and so far, it looks to be another action-packed adventure. So as long as it has a strong plot, then I probably won't have too many issues with this one. However, the most interesting aspect of this film is the appearance of the Constructicons that combine together to form the ultra-huge Devastator, and this will most likely lead to tons of explosions and billions of dollars of damages to the city that us taxpayers will have to pay for. Number 6, Harry Potter Movie 6. While Harry Potter's complicated life at Hogwarts continues, and ever since Voldemort has returned, the shit has certainly been hitting the fan. Judging by the movie trailer, this one should be pretty awesome as well. Lots of special effects, action, and it seems like they got everybody to return from the last movies. So, you really can't go wrong with this one. Now the next five picks are my absolute must-see movies for 2009. What did I end up picking? Well, find out in part two, which will be released later this week. <laughs>